So, yeah, this might be something that you might have been missing. Um, so, we are back. This is week four of the UBL. And we were against Prince. Now, you can't quite see it because of how I've got the, uh, the capture, but, um... Yeah, I might be recording this as we're going into playoffs. <laughs> um, I've been really putting off this one. Um, because I didn't do the match a lot, Eve. Um, so, yeah. Um, and this is, like, this is context for everything else that's happening, like, with the channel. Um, I've just been putting off this one match because this has been the one thing I've needed to record before anything else goes up. And, yeah. Um, but as for the battle itself, let's not dwell on that too much. Um, their team consists of Geraldon, G-Max, Cresselia, Zergatry, Copperaja, Gastrodon, Marowak, Agron, uh, Conkelda, Reggie Drago, which I don't know if they actually had when we fought. I feel that might have been a trade. Um, Mr. Rhyme and Bertic. Um, so this was a hard trick room team. It's pure hard trick room that's really been relying on Marowak to do most of his work. Um, so I knew that going into it, I was like, well, there's not much they really have for Escaf anyway. So my own trick room isn't bad here either, but I also know my fast mode can really go in. So we're going to go with that. So we started off with Sneasel. Um, it was all of the supporting stuff that was needed for the team. Um, fake out, beat up, surf, surf and taunt, just max attack, max age, max speed, sash. Just in case of scarfers, I don't know. I didn't know something would be scarf because they are hard trick rooming, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Um, I don't remember this either because again, this was like four weeks ago. So yeah. Um, then we have Colossal, super super bulky Colossal again. If I could, if I remembered what this was for, I would be able to tell you. My guess. I mean, looking at the team, my guess would be a uh, Duraludon. Um, that or Gastro, one of the two. One or two. Um, Scorching Sands with her because they have a lot of steals. They have three steals, in fact. So, and the only thing Grass was hitting was Marowak. And I didn't know if Marowak would come because, again, they were a replacement coach, I believe. So, they'd only actually been playing for a little bit. So, I didn't really know what they wanted to do. And I presumed Conkelda would be more of the threat. So, yeah. I didn't know if Marowak would actually come. Um, next up, Verizion. Verizion really goes in against a lot of what they've got, so the Verizion was really good. All the coverage it needs, and outspeeds Duraludon, so yeah. Uh, Escaf, super, super bulky with an Okaberry. Again, this was part of where... I think I may have said this. I think I said this in week 5, which you'll see soon, but I started... I think this was the point where I was like, I just want to run Oka. I just cover for fire moves. Um... Because I know, I knew, um, I knew Copperage got Heat Crash, so I expected that probably, but I didn't know, uh, I couldn't remember if, I don't think Duralogon gets any fire coverage. Um, there's also, I think the defense actually might have been for Max Flare from, um, Conkelda, so, but yeah, Iron, Iron Head, Drill Room, Make Horn Protect, that's all it needed. Um, Dusnor, I think Poltergeist was an Oko on Mr. My Mr. Mr. Mime? Mr. Rhyme? Mr. Rhyme, yeah. Um, I don't know whether that is just super special defensive trick room stuff. Um, and then just like not trying to speed tie with Copperages. And not, uh, sorry, with Conkelda, because then I know I'm faster than it. I don't have to worry about speed ties. Um. And then Moltres, I kind of just threw on here because I felt like I needed a, a solid piece. And Moltres is kind of like the best last thing I could put on. So again, Aspies, Duraludon. Um, and we went with Black Glasses and Snarl because Snarl can slow down basically Duraludon and uh, Gastro. Um, and I didn't really feel like having Nasty Plot because I didn't really feel like there was going to be an opportunity to Nasty Plot and kind of just start sweeping with Moltres. So, um, I haven't watched these games in a while, so... Yeah, we're going to kind of experience them a little bit fresh together. So, yeah. So, game one, and I see 
no Kelda, and they've gone with Marowak. Marowak and kind of, uh, what's it called? Kaparaja. And then there's the, uh, the crest that can set up Trick Room. So I'm like, all right, well, Sneasel Verizion still looks really good here. So at least Sneasel Verizion, I do remember that. And they lead Rhyme Marowak. And I'm like, all right, well, Rhyme can't really fake out if I max. So we both max. They max guard as I go for beat up. I don't have to worry about fake out. I'm just going in. We'll let all the beat up stuff happen. Go to plus four. And then obviously Max Overgrowth comes out. Does nothing. And they trick room. I didn't know Rhyme could trick room. So Verizion goes down pretty much immediately. Because I didn't know Rhyme could trick room. I taunt the Rhyme now. So it can't do anything else. Dustnor comes in as I... I think I'm trying to just reverse Trick Room. I also get to see his Sash. We see a Crit Max Quake. I'm not sure if the Crit mattered there. Sneasel goes down. And then I think Escav is... I think Escav is coming in here for... No, it's Moltres. Okay. They miss a Rock Slide. It doesn't really matter. Like, they miss a Blizzard as well. Um, and... But it's like... I don't really do much anyway. So... Yeah. The game one just goes really in their favor because I wasn't expecting Trick Room Mr. Rhyme. I was like, why would they have Trick Room Rhyme? They've got Trick Room Cress. So, yeah. So I'm like, all right, well, now I know how they're setting up Trick Room. That's fine. So we go to game two. And we lead the same, but this time they lead Rhyme Cress. They lead two Trick Room setters. So I'm just like, all right, I'm going into Dust Noir. I know what your plan is. I'm going to fake out the Rhyme, break the Sash. I know Trick Room is coming. And so I'm just going to try and reverse it. Because that's the best way I've really got at this point. They double into Sneasel as Cole gets to come in for free. But that drop is really annoying. That drop there basically meant that Cole had to switch out. Which, otherwise it wouldn't have to. It could stay in, it could Heat Wave, it could do good damage. But that, that meant it had to switch. Which was really annoying. Because Rhyme wasn't pr pressuring it. Crest wasn't pressuring it. And so I had to switch for basically no reason, other than I had a drop. And as a result, they just double it again. And that really got to me. That one got to me because I was like, there is no reason why they should read that. They lose so much. They're losing so much if they read that for not much gain, and that was one thing that got me, and a lot of random reads like that, real, a lot of random things like that really got to me in this match. Um, but we take out Rhyme, I bring in Verizion, as they bring in Marowak, I'm just gonna max Verizion immediately. Um, I go for max guard, we both max guard, I try and burn the Marowak, and they just set up Trick Room. So, Verizion is gonna take a huge chunk of damage to the face, I'm gonna burn the Marowak now, and yeah, Verizion goes down. Wasn't really a lot I could do about that. I should have read the Max Guard in hindsight. The Max Guard was pretty obvious. Max Guard Trick Room. So what I should have done there was uh, just counter Trick Room and just Trick Room Trick Room. Um, and actually gone for the... Uh, either gone for the Overgrowth just to be safe into Marowak. Because I knew it would do a lot and I wouldn't die for it. Um... Or just hard, hard read it and go into Cress. But I think the safer play would have been... Overgrowth the Marowak, I would have lived um, the Flare, and then double tr uh, Trick Room into their Trick Room, and then I'm in a winning position. Instead, I'm not. But I still have a Cole. So I protect as they max Quake, I know it's going to hurt, but I'm at least going to get a Weakness Policy off here as a result. Um, I Pain Split, get like no HP back, and they Moonblast into the Cole as well to try and take it out. Um... I get my plus two heat wave off, which didn't kill the Marowak, which I was stunned at. Um, and then Chris takes that like a champ, and now it's just Dusnor against the world. So they boomerang, doesn't do too much, but I get my Citrus off. I go for Poltergeist into the Cress, and now it's a one versus one because the Marowak goes down to burn. And this is the turn where I flipped. Look at this situation. We are out of Trick Room. I am a almost min speed Dustnor. I am base. I am 46 speed. This turn put me into the ground and was the reason why this took a month to upload. 
I get heavy slammed and died. Now, why does that why does that seem so bad? Because they were not a min speed copper raja. If they were a min speed copper raja, I would have outsped, gone for burn, pain split, and had a chance at winning this game out of my ass. Instead, they were not a min speed copper raja to try and under speed, you know anything else, like my Dust Snore in Trick Room, so this didn't happen in Trick Room. And instead, they are rewarded for something that at the time I really hated. I really couldn't stand this, and it was the reason why this video took so long, because seeing that, there was a game there, and to me, it felt like there was a game that I had a chance to win, and instead, because of no sp because it was a just an adamant copperager, I lost the game. And so it really got to me, that one. And really put me on tilt for a lot of things. Especially after losing... T this would So I lose the week 2-0. And this was my second loss in a row. And this was a team that I was super, super happy with. I felt like my matchup was super good. I felt like everything was super in my favor. And I played it poorly. And I got super tilted. So... It was good games to them, they certainly played well, but I felt like, I felt like I prepped in the right way, and I somehow got punished for it, which was why I just, like, I couldn't bring myself to watch this match again. Because it felt like I did the right things, and I somehow lost for it. There were some bad plays, um, I'm not sure if the, like, the, the read on the Sneasel still really gets to me because it's like there's no reason for them to read that i can still stay in and heat wave and they accomplish nothing and they lose their and they lose their like rhyme for no reason if they stay in with it like it felt like there was a no-brainer um and then so instead i lose my steezel for no reason because they double it with a moon blast from a crest and a dazzling gleam like it felt so off and then this Copperaja moment really hit me hard. Uh, you know, like the heavy slam from Copperaja, it really hit. And I was like, I was blown away that it wasn't min speed. I was like, there's no way it should, like, it should be min speed because it, it wants to under speed dust snoring trick room. But it just wasn't, so. Yeah, it really, really got to me. And that was why this video took so long to make. Um... Just because, like, this match, it stuck with me for, like, a good couple weeks. Um, where, like, I was just constantly thinking about it. Like, constantly going through my mind. Like, what could have gone, what was the right play there? What should have happened? Um, and in the end, I kind of just realized, listen, there's no point dwelling on this match. It was time to move on. Um, and thankfully, I did. Um, I thankfully moved on from the match. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, still, I can't be... Like, I can't let it dwell. Um, GG's Prince. Um, so, yeah. Um, that is the video. <laughs> that, it, that took a month to make. <laughs> Sorry I've been putting off making videos, but yeah. Um... This one really got to me, and it took a lot of uh, took a lot of motivation to come back and actually make this one. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Uh, sorry for a depressing one, but most of the other ones that I should be uploading in the near future, which now I have a reason to upload them all, are on, on much higher quality. So, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take it easy. Peace.